where do you see me in five years' time, Doctor? And he said, well, you won't be alive in five years' time, Mr Lytle. Let's help you solve some brochures. I'm Peter, and this is my story with dementia. When I definitely knew there was something wrong was the day I went up to the square and I wanted to draw some money out of the hole in the wall. And, and I remember standing and looking, and I didn't know what it was. This instrument in the wall, I had no idea what it was. I was scared, confused. I got very depressed, and that's not me. It's not my, it's not my personality. And I, it's that spiral out of control. Uh, so I decided, and I'm so ashamed now, that I was going to end it all. I had received a referral for Peter following his diagnosis, so I wrote him a letter. And for some reason, my brother rang me, and he wanted to know how I was. And I sort of ranted and raved at him and said, well, you know, you won't believe this, but the Alzheimer's Society have written a letter. They invite me to one of their calves, and he actually said to me, you know, you must go. You promised me you'll go. Well, I never broke your promise. If I say to you, I'm going to do something, I'm sure the sun comes in the morning, I'll do it. So I said, yeah, all right, Andrew, I promise you I'll go. And I remember walking in, and I looked round, and everybody looked older than I was. Instantly, I'm not staying. He was quite reluctant to come to the cafe, so I arranged to do a home visit with him the following day. I spent two, three hours with Peter talking to him. He really felt like he didn't know where his life was going. I think she'd been talking to me about half an hour, and it was like someone turned the light switch on. That lady saved my life. She really saved my life. Sorry, because she made me realise that there was there is life. You know when you get your sorry, you know when you get your um, you get that diagnosis. And I thought everything was over. I can never ever thank her enough for what she did. And then I started going to the dementia cafe, the Alzheimer's Society. Fantastic. I had it in my mind. You know, we really need to do something for younger people. I need to do it. I don't want it in a hotel. I don't want it in a church hall, I want it in a normal cafe. I had to have a name for this. The cafe in St Andrews is called Fresh, so I thought, Freshers. Because it reminds you of younger people, doesn't it? And that's where it came from, with Freshers. Every Tuesday, there'll be a Freshers. One in the morning and one in the tea time. If I had to serve, I will do, you know. But what I believe in doing, if you come in, I want to know all about you, I want to know who you are. Uh, and I will greet you automatically, and I'll take time out and I'll sit and I'll talk to you and I get to know all about you as much as I can. I think I'm a lucky man to be in the situation I'm in because I, I know I can help people. You know, I'm trying to help as many people as I can. And I think in this life, if you can do something like that, that's brilliant. And a lot of people don't get that opportunity. You know, so I'm, I'm taking it in both hands and I'm gonna try and help as many people as I can.